Hello everybody, this is Jake, your resident content cowboy here, yeehaw! We're back, some more auto chess, and this is another bad build. It's gonna be a bad one, I really think so. Here's my thoughts with this one. I'm not sure exactly how this is gonna work out, but I want to have a four marine synergy be part of the build. So, marine is the synergy that gives you magic resistance. Uh, you almost never really need four marine. I never see it used in any top meta games, but I wanna see what we can make work around the idea of having a four marine synergy. So, you know, that could mean using, you know, four marine hunters, could have assassins, could have warriors. Look, no matter what way you go, I don't think there are a lot of good options for four marine. I, I don't think it's, I don't think it's really super viable, but we're gonna try to make something work here. Uh, oh, and as always, if you like what I'm doing over here, what would mean a lot, like, comment, subscribing, it just helps more people see my videos. I really, really appreciate everyone who does it. Thank you so much for that. Okay, for Marine, for Marine. Here's what I'm thinking. I would love to get a Marine unit early, you know, a Abyssal Crawler or Abyssal Guard, and then use that unit to be paired with a Panda, and hopefully a Panda will help us snatch some of the units we're looking for. I mean, this is really out there stuff, but if it could happen, it would be very cool. And let's see, item-wise, one thing we definitely don't need is any magic resistance. We're not gonna need that. We might need some damage out of these first two. We got a magic, a crystal, and a staff. I could give that to someone who's casting for us, but out of our main lot there, here's what we get with Marine. One Marine's a warrior, one Marine is an assassin, and two Marines are hunters. So it feels like the most logical combination is going to be hunters. It also would stop our hunters from getting blasted down by a huge bunch of magic early on. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this rune hammer here and I'm gonna pair it with probably this life crystal. Dracula Mask, Magic Crystal, either one. I'll, I'll take this one, actually. Ooh, we got a crawler. We got a crawler. It is a unit that we are kind of looking for. We got a Abyssal Crawler. Okay, <clears throat> so we've got a Abyssal Crawler. I'll go ahead and slap that down next round. And we've also got a hunter unit. So I could see us maybe playing hunters sort of through the mid game, using that panda to hopefully grab more marine units, get really, really lucky and maybe grab us, you know, one of those top tier marine units. The tough thing about marine synergy is, especially early on, it's not gonna help you too much against magic damage. And then later on, you definitely don't need four. So if we wanna win this, we gotta really hope that whoever we're going against <laughs> is using a lot of magic damage. Because otherwise, you know, if we're going up against someone who's got a ton of assassins, it is not very useful at all. Let's see. Oh, these guys are pretty good, huh? So here's what I'm thinking. This gives us three warrior. I can, this is a hunter. That's, that's our marine. I'm gonna sell our hunter. I'm just gonna put this unit out here right now. We've got three warrior, two cave, and a panda, hopefully to help us grab some units here. We don't have our abyssal, but this is a pretty solid setup. I actually shouldn't have swordmen right there, but this is a pretty solid setup to get us to win a few rounds. Uh, I think we'll beat a lot of builds with it, but you know, you never know what could happen. Two cave, three warrior. It's just a really easy early setup to get yourself a win streak. Your units have a lot of HP and you know, warriors have a lot of armor, so they're blocking most early physical attacks. Not blocking, but mitigating a lot of the damage. Hey, there's Abyssal Guard. We definitely want you out there. Okay. Welcome to the so I, here's what I'm thinking. I'll put you out there instead of our beast. I'm gonna swap you guys. Maybe I'll swap you more like that. Okay, so now we're in this nice position where this panda might actually help us find a uh, marine unit. 
And these two are on the board, so I'm going to grab you guys. We might be pushing our win streak here a little bit. I mean, if I two-star either of these units here early, we could we could have a win streak that's pretty strong. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> right now, I could remove our panda, and I could put out our abyssal crawler, and that would give us our synergy, but... For the most part, magic damage isn't going to be the thing that kills us. Then again, we've got this guy, and he's killing us right now because his panda grabbed him an early Soul Reaper. We're at round six, and they grabbed a Soul Reaper. So there goes that win streak idea we had in our heads. Okay. But we can also hang out in a pretty good position for a while. Let's see. Ooh, he gave us another panda. Well, well, well. We're definitely going to want to use these pandas to our advantage. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What would I have to sell to get you out there? I have to sell you. I could swap you with just one of the warriors, but if I sold you and I sold uh, you, now I get my panda out there. These pandas are just going to help me get free money and free units, so I kind of have to put them on the board. It's going to be hard. Again, it's going to be hard to beat me, but not impossible. Oh, and I have my item unequipped like a real dummy. I feel like I'll probably put this on sword, man. Pandas, uh, they have a chance of finding us more pandas, and they have a chance of finding us any unit that's on the board, any type of units that's on the board. Wow, we're just getting pegged. Pegged by that dwarf sniper. Maybe we're going to lose more than I thought we would with this build, huh? Okay. Definitely want this panda in case we can two-star. And we can have this Shining Archer. I could swap. I could go Hunter. Hmm. I'm, I would lose Cave. I don't want to lose cave, our Cave synergy so early. It's a pretty great synergy for us early on. I think I'm going to hold on to it for a bit. I'm going to hold on to my pandas for a bit. See what they can grab us and then maybe once we level up a little more one more level i can get that i can get that crawler out there if we still have enough health to not make that such an insane move this early let's see what we can do here all right victory v for victory i want to see the new v for vendetta v for victory Okay, Strange Egg, I definitely want you. I am inevitable. I'm not going to use you on anybody, though. You're too valuable. I want to use you on someone cool later on. But things are going eh, pretty well for us. Nothing too great, nothing too bad. Kind of hanging out here in the middle. Not a place I love to be. Middling, as they say. Not winning. Not really winning. Not really losing. Just kind of in the middle. But hopefully these pandas turn that around for us. At least, hopefully they, they give us some cheap wins like that other guy got. Man, a soul reaper. Like, he must have got it so early. Sometimes these pandas give you ridiculous units. I was on the subreddit the other day for auto chess, and someone posted that they got a Zeus at round three or four or something. It's just kind of bananas, really. That's what that Gwen Stefani song was about. They were about this panda meta. I don't know. I don't know, Jake. You're saying at home. I kind of doubt that that Gwen Stefani song from 12 years ago or whatever was about a panda meta. I like you, so I'll believe you. This is me being you, by the way. I like you, so I believe you, but I don't know if you're right, Jake. I love Pirate Captain, but I don't need Pirate Captain. And I'd like the gold, so I'm going to get rid of a Shining Ascent. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I sold the wrong unit. <laughs> this, this one should not only be a bad build, this is also bad play. Normally, it's just Jake doing a bad build, but today, Jake is also really playing poorly. We're winning this. We're tough. We got that two star God of War. Rune Hammer, not bad. Could be okay with a Hunter build. What do we got here? Wooden Club. I like Wooden Club with Rune Hammer. I think that's a good item. And I could do Cattle Hide. I could give us a lot of armor. But yeah, let's take this Wooden Club here. 
And possibly as we move towards having hunters out there, I could use that to my advantage. I'll go ahead and combine this. Right now, I'll just put it on our boy here. Sword man. I should star these units up here soon if I can. If we get a win streak, I can lean into it a little bit, but I kind of think we're hanging out in the middle for a little while here. That's where I think we're going to be. God, these pandas, man. They're just wild, aren't they? You see what these pandas do and you just think, I got that for free? Are you kidding? Okay. Win streak is now starting. We got a three round win streak, which just means every time we win, we get one gold. So if I have to spend 10 gold and I lose a point of interest, it's okay because I get that gold back and now we have our Ember Blade. Well, I'm gonna star up, excuse me, level up. Now that I have Ember Blade out here, I'm gonna put my items on Ember Blade and I'm just gonna hopefully have him win for us a bit. I could. I could rem no. I was gonna say I could remove God of War at a point like this and just uh, get our marine synergy out there. I'm gonna need to get it out there. I, I kind of think I need to move to level seven pretty quick here. Get our marine synergy out there, and then hopefully have our pandas grab more of those marine units. Oh look, he's got a he's got our guy. He's got our siren. Somebody should tell him that's ours. Hey, Mallow, that's ours. Mallow, giving me some Mario RPG vibes. All right, another strange egg. I'm an Ooh, egg. now I've got an important question in front of me. You know what, I'm just doing it. I'm two-starring my Ember Blade with a strange egg. I'm gonna lean, I'm gonna lean in. I'm pulling a cave unit. I'm pulling both cave units. I'm gonna get three assassin out here and I'm gonna get our two marines. So right now we've got two marine, three assassin, and uh, three panda. I didn't expect this was how this was gonna go, but I mean, we could have a panda marine build. Pandas are just good and this magic resistance will help us. So there's something here, you know? I don't think it's ideal, but it's something. I thought we were gonna be going Hunter. But you never know, really. Boy, with these terrible builds, you just simply don't know sometimes, do you? We might still move in, move in towards Hunters. I don't know how that's gonna look, but I will gladly sell these Hunters I didn't need to sell that right away. I could wait, but I don't care. Magic of Staff, ability damage. I mean, so with Ember Blade, there are a few items we want. I would love to have a teleport dagger on Ember Blade. I remember I, I did a panda video a while back and people were saying, why didn't you get a teleport dagger on that Ember Blade? And you know what? They were right. <laughs> it's really good. There are a few items that are really good on Ember Blade. So let's see what we can get going here. Ooh, they, ah, this guy again with his early, early uh, Soul Reaper or whatever. Oh, this one's gonna come down to the wire. Oh no, we lost. No, we lost our win streak. No, I should have rolled. I feel like I'm doing a little Seinfeld there, huh? Oh no, the lost streak. Ah, oh, the win streak. Yeah, you lost the win streak and now you got a lost streak. Shoulda rolled, shoulda rolled. <laughs> Everyone's thinking, yeah, that's uh, what you think Seinfeld is, huh, Jake? Okay. All right, so, <clears throat> oh, we two starred our uh, Heaven Brew. Didn't notice that happened. Thank you, pandas. We're in a good spot with these pandas right now. And uh, we, we I should have rolled, kept our uh, units up, you know, start up our Abyssal Guard, our Abyssal Crawler, our water, uh, water Spirit, just so we could keep that win streak. So a lot of mistakes there. As I said, this isn't only bad builds. At this point, it's bad play. But we've got 40 gold. So we've got some interest going on. It's not bad. 
And we haven't lost a ton of health. We're doing okay. I'm really <laughs> softening the blow here. And, and we're and we're fine and no one's mad. So, hmm. I need this broken sword and this magic of crystal if I want to get that teleport dagger, but I can't take either of them right now. So I'm going to have to wait. What's the item I grabbed? Life crystal. Yeah, I don't really need that. From this set of items, I probably would like to take cattle hide armor at some point. So I can't really take any of that immediately, unfortunately. None of it helps me greatly. I'm going to take this item and just put it on our ember blade here and hope to continue to win. But again, we are not on a win streak. We are not on a loss streak. I'm going to save my money, stay over 50 gold, and then anything over 50, I'm going to move on. From these two sets of items here, I'm probably going to grab the Broken Sword or Magicka Crystal from here, just depending on what item I find next. And from here, I'll probably grab Cattle Hide Armor. There's a possibility I use Magicka Staff at some point, so I'm not sure there. But I'm going to leave those items unchosen until I know what I want to do with them. And again, since we're not on a win streak, I don't have to choose those. Like, choosing those items isn't going to be, like, the small thing that makes or breaks my win streak. So I truly am fine with letting them sit until I can pick the exact ones I want later. I think we're losing in this one. That Shining Assassin's just going to be tough. Yeah. It's going to come right... Ah, he's got me. He's got me! Oh, he's got me! Panda! All right. Yeah, we definitely want you to. Um, Shadow Crawler might make it out there at some point. At this point, it seems like it's unlikely we're going to move through Hunters with this. So this might be like a Marine Assassin build. It's possible. You could do four Marine, six Assassin or something like that. I mean, right now it's Marine Panda. Just moved away from the mic to clear my throat. You guys all have to let me know if that worked out. <laughs> I'm not going to comb through the audio to check if that clearing my throat made it on. You're just going to have to let me know. I'll believe you either way. All right. That was a good one. Good win. Good win, team. Way to work together out there. I love the hustle. Great hustle. So I need to uh, start leveling us up as well because one of the only ways I'm going to find those two higher marine units is to be a higher level getting a lot of pandas which is great 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 for us okay nobody here is useful for us i'm going to continue to level right now i need to get us up to at least level eight before i can even find yeah before i can even find our five cost unit but i really need to get us up to nine or ten before i can find that uh tsunami stalker and then from there, the more units I put on the board right now, it's just going to be more assassins, it looks like. I, I don't, in fact, I don't think, I don't think hunters are going to come into play. Two of the marines are hunters. So, you know, it's possible, but it definitely doesn't feel like the ideal thing for this build at all. Oh, I got hit by the boat. I was like, Emberblade, you're going to save us, right? Nope. Got hit by a boat. Look, if you got hit by a boat... You can't be expected to do much work. If someone called in sick, like, oh, here we go. They're calling in sick again. What's the excuse going to be this time? And they say, yeah, I got hit by a boat. You'd go, oh, well, you know, take all the time you need. <laughs> I mean, someone get a get well soon card sent out to them because they got hit by a boat. Taking a big giant drink of water right now. They say the pros don't mention when they're taking drinks of water, but I refuse to be fake for you guys. I'm giving it to you real. This is the real deal. Real deal. I'll tell you how much water I drink. I'm not afraid. Okay. Right now our bench is getting pretty full. I got to get us up to level nine. I gotta get us up to level 10. I gotta get more marine units. I need to star these units up, to be fair. I, I probably need to roll a bit, because too many of these units are one star. Ooh, we got our two-star little Pandy. Hi, Pandy. You're so sweet. 
Okay. <clears throat> I would like to star both of these units up right now. Oh, and our Abyssal Guard. All right, I need to roll. I'm rolling. Panda, Shadow Crawlers. You can't get caught if you leave no witnesses. We got another creep round here. Hopefully we get some good items. I would like, again, either a Magicka Crystal or a Broken Sword. Just so I could get that teleport dagger put on our panda, our ember blade. And I also would like the item that this combines with. I, I need a lucky coin as well because uh, I can't remember the name of this item every time. But it's a, it's a good one. Resistance cloak. That doesn't help us too much. And what do we got here? Well, here is our magicka crystal. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to take our broken sword. And that gives us our teleport dagger. I'm gonna put that on our ember blade. You can't Star you up. The tide. Take this ember blade down here. Uh, and I'm also gonna throw on this resistance cloak on him. Uh, what, what would I, what would I, tr oof. I guess I'd look for a mask for that resistance cloak maybe. Okay, our bench is still pretty full. I might have to just get rid of Skull Hunter because it's unlikely we're moving towards Hunter here. I would like to star up a couple of these guys, so I think I'm going to need to roll next round. Uh, and I am just going to get rid of you. I'm sorry, pal. You're a sweet, sweet man, but you got to go. You just don't help us anymore. We're moving on without you, Skull Hunter. Keep hunting those skulls. We believe in you. We definitely need Abyssal Guard to star up here, huh? He's a one star just hanging out in the front lane. Like, hey, I'm getting killed here. Wait, what happened to him? Am I crazy? Or does it just not show him on the board because he's dead? Because this has his picture all grayed out. I'm not crazy, am I? Why is his picture all grayed out? Maybe it's because he's dead. Maybe they gray it out once he dies? That seems so weird. He's right there, but okay. Uh, I'm not going to grab these water spirits. Siren, hi. Finally. Okay. Let's see. There's Abyssal Guard. There's another Siren. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Gotta move fast. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna get our other Marine unit out there, and then, boy, if pandas are really nice to us and they give us that other one, could you imagine? I won't say anything bad about pandas ever again, I promise. Never, never, never. Pandas are working out. They're so ridiculously cheap. <laughs> Pandas can just be so ridiculous, can't they? I mean, what are they doing with these units right now? I know it's not the top meta, but in most matches, Pandas are just silly. Like someone is benefiting greatly from Pandas in, in a match. It, it always happens. Someone is just crushing it with Pandas. Nothing is true, everything. Uh, something, something. Uh, I want to get my Abyssal Crawler here, but I don't want to spend the money right now. I like staying over 50 gold. So I could actually swap him for Siren. It's probably better, and we already have three Assassins, so maybe Siren will cast. We'll see. If Siren casts, it's more useful than a, an Abyssal Crawler with not a single item on them, because Siren could freeze them all in place, give us some more time to win the battle. But, you know, one star Siren also, it's kind of hard for them to cast, so either way, I don't think it's super beneficial. And right now we've got three assassin essentially. This could definitely turn to a six assassin marine. And that's, you know, it's not bad, I guess. This guy's just a beast. Yeah, look at all the items he's got on him. Okay, nobody we're looking for. Another panda. Let's see. Is that what we want to do? I don't even really want to do that. I mean, I could do it, but I'd like different items from either of those. I actually... Uh, all right. I'll choose that. And I'll combine these. All right, let's see. Now at this point, I need to get our next marine 
Everybody else is starred up except for Abyssal Crawler. I'll find him eventually. So I'm going to continue spending our money on leveling right now. Hopefully getting us up to nine. And again, just giving us a better opportunity to find the units we're looking for. Ooh, we're losing this one, huh? These are these warriors, man. Beating us up. That's okay. Let's get going. Come on now. Finish your rounds, people. What are we up against? We got a goblin mage Kira. We've got a bunch of stuff. Druid, beast, panda. We've got this guy here. He's probably going nine warrior. Another person looks like they're going nine warrior. Dang, another two star ember blade. This ember blade's probably going three star. I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't. As long as we stay alive long enough to get them, we could we could three star. In fact, I could I could save this egg for it. That's an that's kind of an easy one to three star. You know, it's not one of our marine units, but marine again, it is a. Uh, support synergy, you know? It gives you magic resistance. So it's not the synergy that's sort of driving your damage. It's not the one that's going to help us win. But it could keep our units alive long enough to get to do everything we want them to do. So we've got to be fair to it. Against a maid, basically against this goblin, it's useful. Against these warriors, it is terrible. Like I said earlier, if we go up against someone who who the synergy doesn't work for at all. We're just kind of like, okay, that's bad. All right, I'm definitely going to take this and make our little uh, Python wand there. And hopefully soon, I'm probably going to take this wooden club here, uh, but I might end up taking the lucky coin either way to get that one little sword that I can never seem to remember the name of. All right, I'm going to continue to level. Crawler can come out. Or actually, there's no point. I'm just going to put two Ember Blades out there. It's more damage. One's the good Ember Blade. One's the bad Ember Blade. Oh, this person's got magic. Hey, we're actually using our Marine Synergy. Take that person who has magic. So we've got our Marine. We've got our Panda. We've got our Assassin. And now it's just a, a matter of getting that last Marine, probably at level 10. Ooh, what item do we get? Maybe something we're looking for, huh? What do we find? Uh, mask. Club. Not a lucky coin or a wooden club, which is what we're looking for. I'll combine these. That's fine with me. Um, the rest of these items, I don't know who I even want them on. Put them on the other Ember Blade. No, I'll, I'll just put them on this Water Spirit. Ooh. I'll swap this. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know if that matters. It's such a neglig negligible change. I almost said negligee. Get your mind out of the gutter, Jake. Oh, is this these... These are these warriors again who are, who are going, who cares about your dumb magic resistance? You need better units. Looking at that Sacred Lancer. Doing some work, but we ended up getting them because we had two Ember Blades out. <laughs> Ember Blade is so good. I mean, I hate I hate to say overpowered, but overpowered, right? Does anyone else feel like it? I feel like it. I feel like they're pretty overpowered. It's just a great unit. I guess the, the only thing that makes them not so overpowered is it's sort of lucky if you get them or not. But then, you know, if you get them, you got them, and they're overpowered. I really do. I also like Thunder Trace. It's just, I don't know. He's not that useful. He he does pretty cool, like, early, mid. I feel like he's much better. That's good, actually. I'm going to switch this Magic Crystal onto this person. And, you know, no, I'm going to keep the, the little hammer on you. I was going to say I could switch the hammer, too, but... All right, we're going up to level 10 very soon. And that'll give us the ability to more easily find our fourth Marine, which again, uh, looking at our enemies is probably totally useless, but it's something. It's something. 
Oh, I hope this person does a lot of magic. <laughs> yeah, use your magic powers. That's what we want. Those ember blades. Gosh, got 13,000 damage. I know there are two of them out there, so they calculate it together, but still. Just a ton. This guy's got it stacked full of items. Um, this item doesn't synergize with him, actually. The Shadow Edge is what I'm looking for. It doesn't synergize with him, I don't believe, because he's ranged, but... I mean, you know, you're stacking it all on your carry, I get it. I'm not being a hater here. But we're looking for that same item. Uh, I'm gonna spend one, just do it. Okay. I'll put Crawler out there. The only reason I'm putting Crawler out there, I have no idea the behind the scenes RNG with all this, but I'm putting Crawler out there just in case the pandas go, ooh, we're gonna trigger a Marine unit for some reason. The better move is probably to throw out our uh, Heaven Brew just because it's two star, but here we are. Doing some good work against this uh, goblin. What has he got? Is it six goblin? Three goblin. This is just such a... I, I hate being like, what is this person doing? They're terrible. Because I don't think that. I know they have a plan. They're doing something, right? But I just think, what are you doing? Maybe it'll turn into the build that wins the whole game. I don't know. This person's got a phantom queen. I don't know what's happening here. All right. We got Siren. Uh, I really doubt we're going to get a <laughs> three-star Siren, but... Let's see, there's our Abyssal Crawler. I'm coming out. Hmm. I hadn't even thought of doing this with wizards for a moment, but I could. I don't even care to. Hmm. Grab this wizard for one sec. Uh, the thought process here is, I could remove a wizard, or excuse me, I could remove like Emberblade and one of our assassins, and then we get our four marine synergy. I don't even like that, <laughs> but. I don't know. I don't even like that. Get out of here. Hey, a wooden club. That's what we're looking for. Please. Come to me. All right. So I want this item. And I also am going to do... Eh. Sure, I'll do this one. And what do I want to take off of you? I want to take off... Well, i got two of those this on you and I'll put this on water spirits got my other items right okay where were we we're looking for units now and the tsunami stalker is at the top of our list there's a missile crawler phantom queen and scryer nobody nobody we're looking for but we're still fighting we still believe in ourselves Ooh, i didn't even notice heaven brew got the three star congrats heaven brew congrats i want to see the new marshalist i want to see that uh sun wukong looking guy from the experimental server but i haven't uh i haven't really delved into that at all i know i'd have to download it and it definitely is not on playstation because playstation's like 10 years behind Everything else. Let's see. Please. I used to be a painter. Then I took an arrow in the knee. Welcome to the Marines. Hmm. I'd like to stay over 50 gold. We've got all these, you know, Marine units down here. I could easily sell Siren, because again, I don't think we're gonna end up seeing a three-star siren, but you could definitely see a three-star abyssal guard and crawler. If nobody else is grabbing those units, you know? One nice thing about them having this Phantom Queen is at least our Marine Synergy is helping us deal with that, right? This build's actually working out pretty good, mainly because you're seeing just pandas go to work. This is kind of just pandas doing what pandas do, right? I mean, it's hard to say this is like some Marine build. It's just a lot of panda action. Hot panda action! I used to be a painter. You dare to look me in the eye. Hmm. Some of these people are going to go. I'll probably not have a three-star Thunder Trace. They're probably going to go soon. 
We're on a win streak. We got over 50 gold. We got a lot of health. You know, we're in pretty good shape to win this whole thing, and it's really just because of pandas. They're just silly. I would like to get... I got to get my four marine, though. So if it feels like I'm just going to be winning this round in the next couple rounds, which maybe I will, I, I got to roll for this Tsunami Stalker. I have to. Not sure who I'll drop. Maybe Shadow Crawler? Uh -huh. Okay. Where are you? Come on. Another Abyssal Guard. I will drop these. I don't care. Don't take the Siren again. Where are... There's Tsunami Stalker. All right. I will drop. Oops. No, 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 no. You're our best... Oh no, the other the other one's the good unit. All right, so we got our four marine, three panda, three assassin. We could drop our other pandas and get six assassin, which wouldn't be a terrible idea. But now we're, I mean, any magic damage we're really protected against. That's not the bad stuff we're up against, but any magic damage is not a big deal for us. Yeah, freeze him. Turn that Sacred Lancer into stone. Ooh, another Tsunami Stalker. Well, that's kind of a fun one to get, Dark Spirit. I could swap you out for the Ember Blade without the items on you. It's probably not smart, but... No, it's not smart. I can't do that. <laughs> I can't do that. I can't even bring myself to do it. There's our Tsunami Stalker. Another Abyssal Guard. I wonder if I could teleport dagger a siren. I'm gonna try it. I honestly am. This just sounds kind of fun, huh? And then item wise, I kind of like flicker staff. All these are good, but I like flicker staff. I just think it's fun. So I'm gonna do that. Flicker Staff lets you teleport to the other side of the map and then reflect damage back to everybody. It's pretty cool. I'm coming out. Let's see. There's our three-star Abyssal Guard. What do we got here? Is this almost over? We could try to we could try to three-star that siren. I mean. It did work. She did teleport to the other side of the map. I don't know how beneficial it was, but it happened. How many more rounds we got? One more, maybe, huh? Siren. My hair looks tired. Time to feed them. I'm coming out. Hmm, three star abyssal crawler. You dare to look me in the eye. All right. I'll use the egg. We got a three star siren, three star abyssal crawler, three star abyssal guard. <laughs> could you imagine if, if these other people were living longer? We could have like a three star of every marine unit. That'd be kind of crazy, huh? Not saying good, but just crazy. Lots of three stars going on. Yeah, I'll take your head. Oh, it's over. It's over. Our four marine strategy that really was basically pandas worked out. So that was not um, strictly four marine, but as I said earlier, you know, four marine, it's not used <laughs> because you don't need it. I didn't. I definitely didn't need it against a lot of those guys. They didn't have enough magic damage to make it useful at all. But we got to see it play out. We saw it play out with pandas. I, I definitely wanted pandas early to try to snatch all of those units up and hopefully get them rolled into our group. And it ended up giving us a, a decent synergy with the uh, Ember Blade. So there you have it. Four Marine for the win. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I'll see you next time. Mwah.